Hey, how you doing? I'm Joe, just a 40-something year old, hard-working schmuck and proud member of generation that brought you the 80s and 90s pop culture. That's right, Generation X, baby, loud and proud. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a millennial world, people, and that's why I'm starting this here channel, to help my fellow Gen Xers, and yes, baby boomers too, to help you all navigate through this millennial twilight zone. You see, millennials have an idiot language that's all their own. And if you're gonna survive the millennial age, you'd better understand what the hell they're talking about. And that's precisely what I'm gonna help you do right here on this inaugural episode of Generation Joe. Roll the intro! You know that we are living in a millennial world, and I hate this millennial world. Yeah. Alright, so you're probably thinking, hey Joe, what's a good looking guy like you doing putzing around on the internet? I mean, you got that sweet ginger stash, chiseled jawline, you should be hosting a show on primetime TV. And to you I'd say, you damn skippy I should, and I would be too, except for the fact that these network pencil necks are all puppet phobes. You believe that? They have some bogus rules that TV hosts should be human, blah, 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 opposable thumbs, yada, yada. And so here I am on the YouTube. And you should all be damn grateful that I'm here too, because the information I'll be sharing with you on this channel is priceless. You hear me? Priceless! So just make sure you subscribe now and turn on that little notification bell thingy up top so that you can get notified as soon as I release a new video. All right. So we're talking about Millennial English. So what the hell is that exactly? Well, as you probably already know, Millennials are the laziest generation to ever exist in the history of mankind. I mean, they're even lazier than hippies. They're like those fat floaty chair people in Disney's Wally movie. Yeah, remember them? Lazy bastards. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look here. LOL. SMH. R-U-K. O-M-G. Millennials friggin' love acronyms. They abuse them like Bill Clinton abused college interns. What started as simple typing shortcut for text messages has crossed over to spoken language and is now regularly used in their conversational English. I mean, WTF. AYS. What the hell is all that? It's crazy. Look at these phrases here. FOMO, which means fear of missing out. Now why can't they just say fear of missing out? Why does it have to be an acronym at all? I'll tell you why. Because they're friggin' lazy. They want shortcuts for everything. They've even come up with acronyms for two word phrases. Look at this one. AF, which means as f Sorry, I mean as F word. The AF is used to add emphasis to another word or phrase, like guilty AF, or millennials are stupid AF. Huh, nice, I like that one. <laughs> and when an acronym doesn't quite work, they'll chop up a word and break it down to its barest form in order to abbreviate it, cause of course, who's got time to talk? Look at this word here, bay, B-A-E. They claim this is supposed to be an acronym, meaning before anyone else. But that's just friggin' stupid. I'm pretty sure there was an attempt to say baby or babe, but they just didn't have the energy to finish the last vowel. Oh! Here's an abbreviated word they use, sus, short for suspicious, which replaced shady, I guess, because it has too many syllables, so they just can't be bothered. Ugh. And beyond acronyms and abbreviations, they have standard slang words. These are important to know if you want to keep up with their insanity. Some popular words are lit, meaning awesome, or fire, used as an adjective, meaning incredibly awesome, or basic, meaning standard or boring. Definitely not awesome. Then we have words like salty, meaning grumpy, ratchet, meaning when something like your looks or life have gone to hell, metaphorically speaking. And then we have the often abused woke, 
meaning awakened to. Hopefully, millennials will be woke to how lazy AF they are. Ha! And finally, one of the most abused words in the millennial English by far is the word like. It's used when attempting to describe something that they can't find the words to properly describe because they only have a 200 word vocabulary. Just listen to any conversation between two college age chicks and it will make you want to shove an ice pick through your skull. Every other word is like this or like that. She was like, oh my God. And I was like, are you effing me? And I'm like, choke me out if I have to like hear you talk for more than like 30 seconds. Anyway, these are just some common phrases and terms used in millennial English. And if you want a more comprehensive list, I've included a link in the description below for you to look at if you want to dig deeper into this. Just remember, the takeaway lesson here is to understand the millennial mindset as it pertains to their lazy ass system of communication. Alrighty then, so that's all the time I have for this episode. Thanks for watching. And be sure to join me next time as I show you what dating looks like in the millennial world. Oh, baby, that should be fun. Until next time, I'm Joe, and remember, Gen X rule and millennials drool. Booyah!